Hi friends, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This week onwards, we are starting one more series, one on one with Radha Krishna Pillai. And this time, I have a very interesting person, a very dear friend, and India is one of the most popular, best-selling authors with me, Ashwin Sanghi. Ashwin, um, you know, we were discussing even before we started uh, shooting this, and that what should be the approach? And for me, like yes, we are here. With one of the India's best-selling author, but he says, "Rada, it's better to have it more like a one-on-one -on -one conversation." So, it's going to be casual. Yeah, I know it's going to be profound. So, for all the viewers, let me give a quick snapshot of what the world knows about Ashwin, the so-called bi data of his best-selling author. So many books in place, right from Chanakya's Chant to Krishna Ki, Rosewood Line. He started co-authoring also quite a few books. But my favorite, which I just told him, is Thirteen Steps to Bloody Good Luck. Very different, but one of my favorites. Now, uh, apart from writing books, he's also a businessman, which always likes to say I'm a banyan, mm -hmm. and I love that. <laughs> but this is what the world knows. But I want to start by asking Ashwin, how would you define yourself as a person, the Ashwin that Ashwin knows? Well, you know, Radha, uh, I have attempted very often to try and put myself into a box, but okay. it doesn't work. Okay. But if there is one box which seems to emerge all the time, is the fact that I love telling stories. Wow! And uh, you know, someone the other day asked me. They said that you know, what do you think is the ideal qualification for a writer of fiction? Okay. And I said, you know, when I was growing up as a kid, uh, my only major qualification was that I was a very good liar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I used to tell lies with a straight face. Okay. <laughs> and I think if you ask me, that fundamental quality of being able to spin a yarn, okay, is still very much alive and kicking. Sure. And that is the one fundamental uh, characteristic uh, which I see about myself. That what makes me uh, prolific as a writer. Right. It's primarily the ability to spin a good yarn sure. and to keep you engrossed. Sure. Uh, how do you balance this so-called work-life balance, business and writing? Because you're in so many genres now, so yeah. many domains. Yeah. So, basic question on time management. Well, uh, earlier, uh, uh, Radha, I was actually a businessman who was also a writer. Sure. Uh, these days, I'm a writer who's also a businessman. <laughs> okay. So there has been a bit of a change, change in terms yeah. of yeah. my uh, in terms of my balance sure. between my work and my writing. Sure. Uh, I have always maintained that in my life. Uh, my my life was determined usually by um, a set of W's. You know, okay. there was the work, which was the first W. There was the writing, which was the second W. There was the wife, which was the third W. <laughs> and then there was the whiskey, which was the fourth W. But probably the most important. <laughs> but uh, increasingly, what I'm finding is that for me now, I'm much more of a morning person. Okay. Uh, so I'm in fact usually up by around five o'clock or five thirty in the sure, morning, sure. and that's the time when the bulk of my writing gets sure, done. Sure. Uh, I'm usually done with that by around ten o'clock or ten thirty, okay. which means then that I have the rest of the day uh, entirely to myself in terms of either uh, writing or in terms of work or in terms of the business of writing. Sure, sure. Uh, so all of that. Uh, is equally important. Uh, so I find that my creative juices are the best in the morning. Sure. I normally get into work by around eleven thirty or twelve. Sure. And then I'm there for a, maybe around six hours or so. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think uh, as against working seven days a week, now I work about five days a week. Okay. Uh, which, but it still implies only about twenty-five to thirty hours right. a week in terms of working. Sure. Uh, and I think that there would be a large number of people who would kill for that sort of a, sure. a schedule. So, sure. you know, it's a blessing. Absolutely. So that was Ashwin talking about his time management and the way he writes multiple books. Next episode, I'm going to ask him a very important question that is on his book, Chanakya's Chant. Till then, keep watching, subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course, learn a lot about what the experts have to say in one-on-one -on -one with conversation. Thank you.